live from the CD929 Big Room Dead. So we've got Emily Kemp, vocals, and bass. We have Jason Bala, guitarist, and Eric McGrady on drums. Thank you guys for being here today. Formed in Chicago in 2015, your last album, Blue Skies, released in May of last year. And sometimes you look at an album name and you're like, I have no idea what they're going for there. But I have to imagine Blue Skies meant we'd gone out of a, a dark couple of years. Am I in the ballpark with that one as yeah. far as Blue Skies? Just out of the winter. Winter's over. Optimism on the horizon, maybe. <laughs> right. Chicago winter's over. Which can be very harsh. Uh, if you take a step back, Flower of Devotion was released in 2020. Pitchfork listed Flower of Devotion as one of the 35 best rock albums of 2020. When you release an album, what, if any, are your expectations for it? I mean, you know, you guys kind of, the shining light out there, having one of the best albums of the year. It was pretty surreal because we weren't really planning on that happening. We were just like, once we finish the record, it goes <coughs> off and then more or less it's just... Um, yours now and it's not really ours anymore a lot of people said that that album got them through the pandemic do you feel like you kind of grew closer with them with that last album i feel like we've always had a relationship but yeah i feel like they got closer during the pandemic because everyone was trapped inside just listening to music <laughs> and then they came out and got to talk to us being in that list of the pitchforks 35 best ones with like phoebe bridgers and bruce springsteen did it kind of creep into your next album or is it always kind of a reset i guess it's sort of a reset but it's more like I mean, they're all in a family, the dead yeah. world. Yeah, just kind of like, we just keep building a block on top of another block. Yeah. Okay. So like whenever it's time to write, we'll like sequester into writing cave. And then whatever's happening at that time is what we write about. Yeah. Well, can we hear another block then? One of the songs? Yeah. Cool. Let's put another block in the wall. <laughs> Pink Floyd. Lucky. to break my heart I'm big room with dead. You have uh, so blue skies. You've got uh, it's on Fat Possum Records. Before then, Flower Devotion was your first studio album. So you kind of like each album. You know, you've got a little bit more resources for you. Do you has getting these more resources each time changed the album creation at all? No. Mostly, like we've always just made everything ourselves. So mm -hmm. uh, it afforded us to take more time in the studio and stuff because we could just afford literally more time. Yeah, it bought us time. So if you uh, do your writing mostly sequestered when you're out on the road, because your stops this year include Bonnaroo, with, uh, next Thursday, actually, and Lollapalooza as well. What do you guys do when you're on the road? Just have a good time. <laughs> we 
try to have fun. It's so like when you're at a festival like Bonnaroo, do you sit, I mean, if you're there Thursday and of course it goes to the weekend, do you hang out for the weekend? Check out all the bands? Kind of the sad reality of it is like you usually have you're to leave and, and go yeah. play another festival the next day. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, sad or happy reality, you know. <laughs> yeah. Saves us from getting sunburned. <laughs> it's true. Do you look forward to one more than the other, considering Lollapalooza is in your backyard? It'd be nice to sleep in my own bed. Yeah. <laughs> Since you kind of came up in Chicago, do you guys love Chicago deep dish? Yeah, but it's a novelty. Like, I, gotta, I can't eat it every day. Is there, like, if someone from this crowd was going to Lollapalooza to see you guys, would you have a deep dish recommendation? I sure do. My pie. My pie. It's a little known, but it's the best one. Okay. That sounds good. I'll have to try that out. Because, you know, sometimes you get those touristy ones. You don't want the tourist traps. You got to try yeah, my you pie. Yeah, gotta, you got to get straight to the source. All right. So if you're out of Chicago, you're touring around, are there any, you know, favorite cities or, or memorable places that you guys have been? Columbus. In America? <laughs> yeah. Dang, that was really nice. You, you guys ever heard of it? Cups last time we were here, and that was really fun. We went to a karaoke bar. Is this the place where they have the pierogies? At Bourbon Street. Yeah. And there's these yeah. girls singing um, yeah. Toxic by Britney Spears. And they were singing the instrumental parts, too. <laughs> it was so funny. I'll never forget. They were like, oh! <laughs> like, so loud. <laughs> yeah, on, we like it here. Plan on doing any karaoke tonight after the show? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, again, tonight, Dead from Chicago, Indie Rock Trio. Uh, we have time for uh, one more song. Great. Let's do it. This one's okay. called Eggshell. <laughs> I'm sticking with my own department. Plastic sunrise, you 